My people Olori Ronke, oh, they said that she ran out of if a shrine. <laughs> when if a priest told her to come and they swear. You know that uh, the, uh, the other time Olori, Dr. Elizabeth, uh, told her that she's a baby eater. That she had been the one eating up all her all her babies and uh, that of Queen Naomi's own. She was the one that caused problem. Oh. You know, after Toby Loba's uh, welcome back party, Dr. Liz, Dr. Lizzie went for the welcoming back party. And the day, I think they hugged her. She noticed, maybe, you know, when something happened, you, you try to recall how those things happen. She noticed that why she had that problem is because she was hugged. And the person that hugged her in that party was Olori Ronke. She hugged her. And it was after that hug, she noticed something in her body. After that, thing, she now went to the hospital and found out that the baby is no longer there. She did not have, mis uh, she did not see blood coming out, you know what I mean. She did not see the baby again. Okay, the next day, it's not actually the next day, Sha. The next time Olori Donke saw her at the palace, she was like, Eh, hey, how are you? I hope, I hope your baby is still okay. You know that kind of statement now. Dr. Elizabeth was like, oh, so you actually know that you are the one that took my baby. I know that you are the one that has been eating up our baby. Baby eater. Okay, you have come to know whether the baby is still there, Abby. You see, you all the things that you have been committing in this palace, you are going to carry it with your head. You know, Dr. Elizabeth was not happy at all because for her to lose her baby and the baby she had been looking to get, waiting for uh, God to bless her with, she did not see since this one that, she, that came. She she was like, uh, they they use witch witch and bewitch her. She started telling Olori Blue Blue that I know that you are the the person that has been eating up these babies. I know you cannot pretend the fact that I, you are not the person. You know, and the auntie Blue Blue picked offense. I was like, why would she call her baby eater? That did she eat any of her babies? You know that kind of thing. So that this thing happened last week. I be last two weeks. I don't know that. Uh. Auntie Blue Blue will take it too far like this. So she was like, you are going to explain to the whole world how I am baby eater. eater how I ate your baby. This and that, my people. Uh, Dr. Lizzie was there, surprisingly. He said that Auntie, G, Auntie Blue Blue sorry, went and reported her at Ifa Shrine. Hmm. You know, so one thing about this day Ifa Shrine, as we heard allegedly, was that if I sure I know they take bribe, the the if a priest where they that place, no they take bribe at all. This one no be say I could give you huge amount of money, name your price. No, it's not like some of these uh pitchy pitchy, uh priest. If a priest that is out there, you know they take bribe at all at all, and they were like uh huh uh, the, he's not because of the fact that he's not taking bribe. So if you carry anything come there, if you accuse anybody anything. That person will, will swear that the person did not know anything about it. You that even bought that person there will also swear that you, you know nothing about what the person is accusing you of, my people. He said that Dr. Elizabeth was on her own, oh, praying and ask, waiting for God to give her another one. And T. Blue Blue was on her own, going from one babalawo to the other, looking for who, who to chop their baby according to what we heard, though. Mm -hmm. Now you come to hear say, the same blue blue that was accused of eating uh, Dr. Lisbeth's child or children went and reported Olori uh, Dr. Lisbeth to Ifa, Ifa Shrine. <laughs> it's not the person that first called police, now they win matter. Yes. If anybody drag you to court, nobody saying that person now go win that, uh, that court case. You feel be innocent, and because they think they have money, they will drag you to court. When you when you and them reach there, God will still do why He is God. God will still vindicate you. So as Auntie Blue Blue charged, uh, Abi reported Doctor Elizabeth to Ifa Ifa Shrine. When they got there, what happened? My people make another listing. They say that if a uh, if a priest told Olori Blue Blue. Asked her, what do you say is the problem? She said that this woman had been accusing her of eating up her babies. 
and this and that she know not, she know nothing about the babies that she should explain in this Isha Ifa shrine how she had been eating her babies and if a priest said that okay she if a priest asked Dr. Elizabeth Dr. Elizabeth explained how the whole thing happened how Auntie Igwe Auntie Blue Blue sorry hugged her after hugging her in a party she went home and did not see her baby again and the next day, she started asking her, hey, I hope your baby is okay, this and that. And she was like, okay, you have been the one that, you, that even ate up my baby. So that is why she, they said that she accused her. And in that shrine, oh, my people, they said that if a, if a priest was like, okay, Auntie Ron, can you have heard what she said? Yes. The two of you will now swear. Hmm. The person that was accused will start by swearing. If... She knows anything about these babies. And the person that accused you will also swear that if you know nothing, if the person that she accused know nothing about that babies, let the repercussion of this thing, you know, of coming here to swear, follow her. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. That Auntie Blue Blue will swear that if she knows anything against about uh, Dr. Elizabeth's pregnancy disappearing and appearing, that... Let's the if a shrine waiting the day pursue her, do her this, do her that, you know. But if she's innocent of what she's been accused, let the thing follow Dr. Elizabeth. And Dr. Elizabeth said no problem that she's going to swear. Auntie Blue Blue should be the one to swear. Immediately the if a if a priest brought the thing that they are going to hold to swear. They said that Auntie Auntie Blue Blue was like that she cannot swear like this, so what is this? That she reported somebody. It's supposed to be only that girl. The person that she spo- she reported will swear. Yeah? If a priest was like, are you running? And she was, it's not as if she's running. Scar, what can she run? That she's been accused. And she knows that she knows nothing about it. And if a priest told her that, if you know that you don't know nothing about it, oh yeah, now swear. That same poor thing. Uh, she said that she, she's coming. Before you know it, she carried her bag. Bim, run out of the if a, if a shrine. And if a, if a priest was like, that shows that you are you are guilty of what you are accused of. It's not even an accusation that you know what happened to the baby. And Dr. Elizabeth was there watching the a priest and the Auntie Blue Blood that ran out of a, a shrine. Hey, my people, I don't know how true this thing is, but if it is true, eh? This, that if I, eh? Auntie Blue Blue needs to, for, to be forced to swear. Because if she knows swear, then we say she goes still do another one. And so they say that uh, she ran out of the Ifa shrine because she don't want to swear that she knows. That shows that she knows what happened to Dr. Elizabeth's child and the children. Even Queen Naomi's own. It was not really Dr. Elizabeth they lose. Anyway, my people, I said, I take care. Hmm. When I heard this one, I was like, this woman, if it is true, the door is still open now. Go and repent and they accept the Lord in your Lord, <laughs> in your life. Thank you. I love you guys. Please give my video a thumbs up and don't forget that they are all alleged information. Don't be me talk I know they did. Now here I hear. Love you guys. Bye.